Hello, the Olama API has been updated to where it can now run exclusively and inclusively on uh, the Valdi HPC uh, server. So I went ahead and already created a server here. I'm logged into a blank uh, VM and uh, we're gonna work to get this up and running um, so we can interact with our models. <clears throat> uh, the first thing that we're gonna have to do, and this is all within our readme is just update our machine so we could accomplish this by running that simple command once done when you use the all-inclusive uh, servers pip is already installed in this case we're not going to have to do so sometimes servers don't come installed with pip that's a simple command to run it we're not going to navigate to our app directory yet and install our, our uh, requirements necessary we're actually going to open up firewall ports because we communicate on port 5000 which is dedicated for flask um, upon completion you could see rule added it added it for ipv4 and ipv6 now the next thing that we have to update is our cuda drivers this is important because we are using accelerate um, using tensor and other associated libraries this update takes quite a bit Great, once completed, we could run our next command. We're gonna have to clone the repository. We do that by running git clone. Once completed, we can navigate to the, uh, the repository. We're gonna navigate to the app directory and I can ensure you the latency is on my end. Once you're inside of the app directory, we're going to have to edit that config.json. We could do that using Ubuntu's built-in editor, nano. Now I've already generated a read-only access key. actually stored it poorly here. I'll go ahead and remove that and create a new one for security. As a security note, obviously never reveal your API credentials. Okay, then you could actually save this config.json. And the last step is to run our <coughs> uh, requirements install. And what this is going to do is install all the necessary libraries. Uh, that's actually a directory back. So we're going to, oh. I thought, I apologize. It's, a, it's, in, it's in the app directory. So this will go ahead and install all the necessary libraries we need to run. Great, once this is completed, we can move forward and run our application. For the first time, it's going to need to go ahead and install all of the stable diffusion prerequisites. This is the weights um, and everything else from Hugging Face. Now, in this case, I actually received this error here, so I'm glad this popped up on screen. Um, this will occur if it doesn't detect the CUDA driver. The reason why I didn't detect this CUDA driver is because I didn't reboot the machine. You'll see earlier here, da -da -da -da, it asks you to go ahead and reboot this. Um, for the sake of video time, I didn't want to do that. Now, this doesn't affect the program at all other than the fact that it'll just run on uh, the CPUs that are on the machine. So the image generation could take some time. Now, we're not going over using the actual models in this generation. In this case, we're just showing how to get that backend server installed. <coughs> so, once it's installed and running, you will be able to navigate to the modular LLM interface.
it's going to go ahead and see what's installed and it'll go ahead and post again stable diffusion is done by default um, we have other videos on interacting with the models thank you for watching i hope you find this helpful